I look back at being eight, man. That's the days, man. Worst days for me when I think about being like 18 to 25, man. Even 15 to 20. If you're in this room and you're a man and you're under the age of 25, you're a dick and nobody likes you. Because <laughs> every word out of your mouth is, I know, I already know, I know, I already know. <laughs> hey, man, I'm here to help. I know, I already know that. <laughs> I know. My father would try to help me and I would stop him. Grandpa Joe would try to help me and I would stop him before he even started. Hey, mijo, don't drink and drive. I know, I know. <laughs> You need to wear a condom. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Three years later, I'm sitting in jail, drunk off my ass, and it hurts when I pee. <laughs> but I know, I know. I remember being 18, I couldn't wait to move out of the house. I'd walk around the house talking shit. I hate it here. <laughs> Sex! <laughs> the way you pay all the bills, this is bullshit. I'm moving out, man. I don't like the way mom picks up my clothes from the floor, washes them, folds them, puts them back in my drawer. That's bullshit. <laughs> I'm moving out. Hey, Grandpa Joe would come running. What? I'm moving out, man. <laughs> Where are you gonna go, big shot? <laughs> when you're young, you say stupid shit, like, I'll probably buy a house. Babe, come here. <laughs> Look who's gonna buy a house. <laughs> Look at all the women clapping, fuck you. <laughs> no, cause moms lie. My mom would lie to me, she'd make me feel like I could do it. <laughs> you want a house, mijo, you go get a house. <laughs> Follow your dreams, mijo. Follow your dreams. <laughs> Not Grandpa Joe, he'd continue to fuck with me. How big is this house gonna be? <laughs> But always in your head, right? Bigger than yours, dick. Bigger than yours. <laughs> you don't waste any time either, do you? You go find the nicest apartment complex in town. Walk in and take it on the spot. No shopping around, I'll take it. How much is it, 800 a month? Perfect, that's how much I make a month. <laughs> it's gonna work out great. Then what happens, you gotta, you gotta sign the paperwork. You sit down and sign the paperwork. That's when life starts to kick in. Oh, you're gonna need a, a co-signer. What? <laughs> a co-signer? How do you get one of those? <laughs> well, can your parents help you? Oh, shit. <laughs> I just told them to fuck off. <laughs> but you gotta call home. You do, you got you have no, you don't have a choice. You pray to God, your mother answers the phone, but she's not. You know why? Because Grandpa Joe's waiting by the phone. <laughs> as soon as the phone rings. <laughs> I know, mijo. <laughs> I'm on my way, stupid. What a dick, man. Isn't that weird? He's coming to help you, but he's a dick. Like, what a dick. What and if your dad's a good man, like my dad was, he'll, he'll come help you. He just has to make you feel like shit while he's doing it. <laughs> they sign the paperwork and they talk to themselves or God, I don't know who they're talking to. They're just bitching the whole time. Son of a bitch, do this shit every time. I fall for it every goddamn, look at this son of a shit. God damn it, who's gonna pay? Who's gonna pay? I'm gonna pay for this shit, I can't do this shit. <laughs> and you're just, you're just sitting there pissed. What a dick. What a dick. <laughs> they always look at you the same. Where's your friends? I don't see your friends here. <laughs> what a fucking dick, man. What an asshole. You ever call your mom? You always call your mom. I used to call my mom to bitch about dad. I would. Hey, mom, he's a dick, mom. <laughs> Why is he like that? Mom, she would jump right in. That's how he is. He's an asshole. <laughs> when I was young, I thought my mom was a sweetheart. I'm older now, I know that bitch was in on it. <laughs> They're a team, those two. That's bad cop and good cop. I know how this shit works now. 
Thank God for moms, though, right? Thank God, man. My mom. My mom. My mom, I used to call my mom the mom cartel. She would smuggle me shit. I'd come home on a Sunday to wash clothes, and she'd be there, in the garage, there's a box. Just take it. <laughs> what, Mom? Shh, just take it. <laughs> and in that box is everything you didn't think of, like a fork. <laughs> like, oh, I needed that shit. And a shower curtain. You're like, fuck, I didn't know. I thought places came with shower curtains. My dad used to trip me out, man. He would, because he would, he would know what I was doing before I did it. Or he would know what I was doing while I was doing it, and that's weird. I remember being 14, taking a long shower. <laughs> Grandpa Joe would walk by, knock on the door. I know what you're doing in there. <laughs> what a dick, man. Now I got to start over. My poor mother, she didn't know what the hell was going on, all right? She'd walk in my room and be like, mijo, don't blow your nose in your socks, please. please. <laughs> She'd rip them open. <laughs> Look at all the moms with 13, 14 year olds. They're like, I thought he had a runny nose. I thought, I just thought he had a cold all the time. Man, you end up in some shitty one-bedroom apartment. You and two roommates. <laughs> Grandpa Joe would come visit, and he'd be a dick about it. He'd walk in, oh, this is nice. <laughs> give me a tour. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll give myself one. And he'd... <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> hey, let's watch TV, mijo. Oh, you don't have cable. I have it at my house. <laughs> Dick. I wish I had a time machine. I do, man. If I had a time machine, I'd go find 22-year-old me, and I'd kick the shit out of me. <laughs> when I was 22, I was such an asshole, I probably wouldn't even listen to me. I'd show up from the future to help me. Hey, man, I'm here to help. You're not me. Yeah, man, I'm you. <laughs> I'm never going to be fat. Bet there's some women in this room like to go back in time. Find the 19-year-old you, slap that dick out of your mouth. Because <laughs> every woman in here sucked the dick she wished she hadn't. And you'd show up, don't do it! No, he loves me! <laughs> no, he's gonna get a job, he promised! <laughs> Some of you women can't even laugh at that joke. <laughs> Some of you women are here with him now. <laughs> but I would imagine raising a boy that was just like you would be hard. But raising a daughter would be harder, especially for you men. And all you men out there that have daughters, first of all, that's what you get. <laughs> that's God's way of punishing you. Remember all the dirty shit you did in junior high and high school? Well, hey, dude, smell my finger. <laughs> now you have a daughter, asshole. That's why my theory, I don't have a daughter, but my theory is spoil her. You spoil that little girl, because if you ever wanted to get back at her boyfriend or husband, that's the way to do it. When he shows up and goes, sir, she's difficult. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I did that. I can't afford her. Neither could I, motherfucker. <laughs> Neither could I. 